my name is Ellie and this is my channel and I'm having a bad day so I want to do a jewelry declutter I have this big box it's a gorgeous box that my mom made it's super pretty and I would like to use it more but it's full of a bunch of stuff that I both use and don't use and have weird sentimental attachment to so I want to go through some stuff and get rid of it. I was going to do a makeup declutter, but I don't want to anymore. So, let's do this. Uh, ooh. Step one. This is a septum ring, which I need to keep. I only have so many, um, just because it's a newer piercing. And I did like this one, but I need to find a separate spot to put them. So, this is on the keep. I have this weird little acrylic container of, like, post earrings, uh, which I do need to fidget with and see how many still have pairs. And then I'll probably put the septum stuff in here. So that's going to be at the end. I just need to get some of this bigger stuff out of the way. Um, this is part of a bunch of bangles I have somewhere. And I don't know where the rest of them are. I don't really wear it, so trash. Let me bring a trash. Okay. So now I have a trash can to move stuff. Most of the stuff I'm going to be getting rid of is stuff that if I won't wear it, my friends and family probably won't either. So there's that. Um... I do have these adorable hair clips that I keep in here, and I am keeping these for sure. This is a broken necklace. It's really cool. It's supposed to be uh, a raptor claw. I got it from the St. Louis Science Center, but it's on this very strange, like it's on this fake leather cording, which has already ripped once, and like if it was on a chain, I'd probably keep it, but for now, this is just getting thrown away because I don't wear it because it's broken. I have a simple black headband. I will keep that for now. Oh, this is old. This was a pretty shitty piece of jewelry I bought back in high school from like a mall store. They sold a bunch of weird stuff. It's starting to fray around the attachment to the necklace and I haven't worn it in like five years. So into the trash. This one, I don't wear, but I like it. It's got a little, if you can see it's a bell, that is a lucky cat, and I like it, and I'm going to keep it, and hopefully with less stuff I will wear more things. Oh, I have some very large earrings. I'm not sure I've ever worn these. I have, I do have both of them. That's something. I want to say I bought these to get some kind of buy to get one free type deal and this is a lot and these chains will get tangled in my hair so trash um this is a very cute uh, choker that my good friend Jen made for me and I like it I just don't always remember to wear it so again things I will set aside hoping I wear more if I have less stuff Ooh, ooh, I have this. I used to wear this so much. This is just brown beads with little metal and pearl charms on it, and I really like it, and I, I used to wear that all the time. Oh, this. I don't know what to do with this. This is garnet. I got this way back in, like, elementary school at a rock show. If you guys have ever been to rock and mineral shows, you know what kind of nerd I am. But we used to go there with my mom and her friend, and this is one of the things that I convinced them to buy me. So it's kind of like fraying and falling apart. Some of the wiring has poked through, and I've definitely lost a lot of the beads. But I'm going to keep it for now, uh, potentially ask my mom if we can take it apart and restring it. Do -do -do. Ooh. I don't know if I'll ever wear this, but I did enjoy this, so I'm going to set it aside and look at it later. Mm. This is another thing. This is another set of beads that we bought from the gem show. I believe these round ones are lapis. 
and I believe I strung this so I'm going to keep it and see if I can wear it. It's probably a little small for my neck but we'll see once I have everything kind of sorted out how it works. Um, ooh, this is my foray into affiliate codes. Um, this is a necklace from Marina. I don't know which necklace it is, but they reached out to me through Instagram and asked me if I wanted to wear their product. I'm not sure I've ever even worn this on Instagram, but I do like it when I wear it. It's very heavy, but it's kind of like you put it on and you feel like you could fight people. So I'm going to keep this, but I'm going to put it over here in this big section because I don't know if I want it in the box with everything. Oh, oh no, oh no. I've, I've encountered tangles. What the fuck? No, okay. This I have to keep because A, I like it, and B, this was a bridesmaid's gift for my sister when she got married. And so she gave us all these really cute little, like, simple, oh, my hand's fat. It doesn't like me today. Nothing likes me today. Um, yeah, it's this really cute bangle, which I do, when I'm trying to think of jewelry to wear, I do wear this on my wrist. And it goes with a lot of stuff, because it's silver. So I like that. Um, this. Okay, oh no, oh no. One and or both of these was a gift from um, my friend Allie. She's an uh, older sister of my other friend, Caitlin. And I don't know which one's which, but this one has an issue with the top where the, the, little, the, the weight of the charm has pulled the loop open. So I'm going to set these aside and see if that's something I can fix. Potentially turn one into a keychain because I do really like Doctor Who. So having a TARDIS is... Oh! And this one's missing the bottom. <laughs> so I will turn probably one of these into a keychain and mess with some pliers and fix the other one to be more secure as a necklace. Okay. Oh, this one I don't know how I feel about. This is one of those things that pops up on Facebook where they're like, get a free necklace, just pay shipping. And I bought a necklace for just shipping. And I like it, but I also don't know how I feel about it because the chain's kind of an awkward length where it's not quite short enough to be up here, but it's not quite like long enough to be like a, a cleavage necklace. So we're going to put you aside and decide later if I feel like trying to find a better chain for you. Ooh, I have my box. I have a very, my room's very dusty, so don't worry about that. I have this cool little box that opens up, and I have a locket. Why do I have a locket in here? I have nothing in the locket. I have a locket with no chain and nothing in it, so bye random locket charm. I really like the idea of lockets and like putting somebody's picture in a locket and being like, you know, old timey. But I also don't have pictures of people because it's a digital age and um, I, I don't have it. This one I like. This is a bracelet that expands so it fits me rather nicely. It's very cool looking and I found it. If you've ever seen or participated in Flood the Streets with Art, I found one of your things. Um, this was left in Barnes & Noble with a little tag attached saying, hey, this is free for the taking. This is an art piece. Um, and it had a little spiel about just putting art out just so people could have more art in their lives. And it's very pretty, so I'm keeping that. Put that in my bracelet pile. Uh, ooh, this one I like. This is a hair clip, and no, I don't wear hair clips very often, but I like this one because it's steampunk. So we're putting that with my little dragons. Um, oh, these are old. This is a pair of hoop earrings with little flowers on them. I am going to keep these. <clears throat> oh, just because I was thinking the other day about how I wish I had some closed hoops. I apparently do. Because I've been wearing a lot of dangle earrings lately, and I have the little plastic backing on the back to keep it from falling out of my ear. And I think it'd be cool to have some hoops that don't poke me. And I don't think these are going to poke me that much. So if they anger me, they will be gone. But for now, we keep. Ooh, this is an octopus ring that my friend Caitlin gave me for Christmas last year. And I didn't know where I'd put it. Apparently, 
in my jewelry box. So we will keep that. I don't have very many rings. A lot of necklaces, a lot of earrings. Let's see. I don't know how I feel about this one. Oh, you're tangled. Ah, why? Ugh. So this, I believe, came in the subscription box. And it's... Yeah. It's from Juke and Nona. It's a little gold happy necklace. Just a bar necklace that says happy. I guess it's supposed to induce you to be happy. Oh, come on. Get out of there. There is so... No! Get out of there! Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep it just because it's small and simple. And it's something I could wear if I was sick of my other jewelry but didn't quite know what else I wanted to wear. And I don't have a lot of gold, so... That is in the keep pile. I have these earrings. And I can't find the top of one of them. Oh, okay. Um, one of them is missing the hook, which I was going to chuck these anyway because they're simple and fine and I like them, but I don't wear them. And I have a lot of jewelry in that dangly type style. Like here. I have these cute little bar danglies that I like, so I'm keeping these instead. Um, this one, these are some of my favorite earrings. These were a gift, I believe, for my grandparents back in, like, junior high. So, I have to keep these. Also, they're very pretty, so that keeps them. Uh, da, da, da. Now we're just getting into weird stuff. <sighs> I really like this, but I've never worn it. I got it somewhere, I think from my, one of my friends used to have a store that sold like little trinkets and accessories, and I think she gave me this in a pile when they were closing the store, and I've never worn it because it doesn't quite work in my hair, my hair's not thick enough to grab it, but I also haven't attached it to something that would grab my hair better. I also don't wear that many clips, so I like Hello Kitty, and this is very cute, but I have to get rid of. Okay. Ooh! These... I like these. I do wear these. Um, trying to find everything and make sure it has a buddy. These have buddies. I do wear these. I also wear these and they have a buddy. These look long. What are these from? Has buddy. So the main thing with earrings is making sure they have a buddy and then I will organize them yeah if you can't tell I like dangly small detail jewelry um these I've worn them and I can't decide how I feel about them so I wear them and then I'm like I don't know and I put it back I don't think I like them if I don't know how I feel about them it's just they look kind of like life preservers, but also not actual life preservers. Like, if they were, if it was just, like, little dangly, like, life preservers with it written on it, I think I would be into it. But this is just kind of meh. Ooh! These I like, and I wore them for Thanksgiving. These are little scarabs that my friend gave me, I believe, for a Christmas and or a birthday gift. Okay. These are a complication. Because I like them, because they're huge and complicated, but I don't wear them, and they tangle in my hair when I do, so we're just gonna part ways. Da, 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 da. This. I got this little ring in a stocking stuffer a long time ago, and I like it, and it's cute. But I've never quite found the, the necklace that goes well with it, so I think I'm gonna keep it and put that in a try to find better chains for category. There we are. This one. I like this one. <laughs> it's huge. And it's these cool little, like, shapey guys. I don't know why I like them so much, other than they kind of remind me of clockwork. But I do like this and like to wear it as, like, a double chain around my neck. So we'll keep that. A good chunk of these are, like, from when I worked in American Eagle. And they had these types of necklaces, and I bought them. Um, this one... 
I like, but I think I'm going to put it on probation because it's very big and clunky and I've worn it like twice. So I'm going to keep it and if I don't like it the next time I wear it, it might have to go. Okay. So I have these like pin charms and I think I'm going to keep them for now and see if I can't add them to some hook earrings to kind of make stuff. There's no good way to show you. Um, I feel like I got these as a Christmas present or a stocking stuffer or something like that. And I like them, but I don't wear them on um, like pins very much. I don't really do that. My hair is too slippery and fine to really hold clips and bobby pins well. So I'm going to keep them and see if I can turn them into, you know, something like this. So we're going to keep these and keep my tiny stash of bobby pins for when I pretend that I will use bobby pins because I don't, but I feel like I need to have them. I just feel like it's a thing, like safety pins. I almost never use safety pins, but I feel like you're supposed to have safety pins on you as an adult, or at least as an adult lady. Okay. This is from when I was in military science in college. I like it. I don't know why I keep it, but it's cute. I think it just means I'm no rank of importance. I have what appears to be one earring, which is good because I don't particularly like this earring, so bye-bye. Ooh, this I like. This was a birthday gift from my sister, and in one of the small, small amount of silver, not gold jewelry that I have, so I keep this. I do need to clean it. It's got some tarnish on the back, which I will do because I now have less in my way. Okay, and then this is a fake septum jewelry piece. Um, it's got an open piece so you can kind of like pop it in, and I should get rid of this now that I have a real septum piercing and I can put real jewelry in there, but I like it. And I'm going to keep it as reference because I would like to find something, like it's really cute. I would like to find something like this in an actual real jewelry piece. So that's my reference. Okay, we're getting down into the second layer. <coughs> I'm not dying, I promise. Um, this. This is conflicting because I like it but it's really, really hard to get on by myself, and I am almost always getting dressed by myself. So, unfortunately, this has to go as well as, I feel like I would sweat, and then this would transfer onto my skin and stain it black. So, you gotta go. Ooh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. I can't remember if I bought this or if it was a gift from Caitlin, but I remember enjoying it, so I will keep it. This is a little Zelda reference. And, ooh. Okay, so this is another gift from my friend Jen. If you can't tell, Jen is very crafty and makes jewelry really cool. Like, she made this. She made my little choker. Um, I am going to keep it for now, but I might move the chain around. I think I just need to buy some new chains and move some stuff. Because, again, that's something I would wear, but this chain just doesn't seem sturdy enough for how weighty the ceramic piece is. Oh, I have a pin in here. I didn't know I had a sewing pin in there. Oh. So you guys know about aspirational makeup. This is aspirational jewelry. This is an anklet that my sister had in high school and I thought it was the coolest thing ever and she let me have it except my ankles are fat so it's not comfortable sitting on my ankle but it's also too big to be like a bracelet but not quite big enough to be a necklace so I want to wear this and I don't know how I have at some point I tied I tied a little loop in there for some reason so maybe I'll probably just keep this for now and if you ever watch my videos do you remember when you gave this to me and I was all so excited because you were my cool older sister I want to wear it but I am not the right shape in any of my parts for it so we'll keep it and try and figure something out with it because it still it makes me very happy. I know I had this on my door for a while. Um, so either I think my point was that the cat could like bat at it when she needed it out. She didn't do that. It did mean that it was more of a sound when people opened my door. 
which is good because I sleep naked and it's good to have a warning to grab some covers if somebody's coming into my room. Ooh. This is cute and I will keep it. I don't, again, I don't know how I feel about the chain. I don't necessarily like chains with detailed parts on it. I like simple just loop 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 chains. I feel like if it's something like this, it has to be bigger and more detailed and more of like a chain that's supposed to be on its own. So put that in the pile of, I need a new chain for you. Ooh, and I have various chains. Oh, this is cute. Why do I feel like I also got this from Anna? This looks like an Anna in high school jewelry thing. So again, I'm going to keep it. I think this is, yeah, this is a necklace. Oh, it's a choker. <gasps> The 90s are coming back, so this is in fashion. I will keep this for future use. Okay, sorry about the interruption. Mom realized that my car was here. Um, things. Okay. This, I found out, this goes with the headband, and it had fallen off, and I don't know if I had just been waiting to glue it back on or not, but we're just going to get rid of it, because I obviously didn't miss it. Let's see, I was in this drawer. Okay, this is a very cute little um, charm that looks like a, I wanna say Chinese coin? And I'm gonna keep it, I think, I have a plan. So I think I'm gonna get a bunch of these little like simple pendant things, take them off the chains, and then have one or two chains that I put them on as I wanna use them. And I don't know if that's actually going to do anything with how much I'll wear things or what. Ooh. Yes. This is a two chain necklace that I got at like Hot Topic or Claire's or something back in high school. And I like it because it's one of those things that when I was 12 made me feel like a sexy adult. And so I need to wear this more because it is really cute and simplistic and nice. So I'll wear it for my boyfriend and ask him, do you know what's different? And he'd be like, what? I'm wearing my sexy necklace, which he won't get. It'll be great. I have this. This is the thing I brought back as a souvenir when we went to Canada forever ago. So I'm going to keep this when that, that pile of pendants and chains I'm going to make a plan. These. Ooh, oh, I have a pile of pendants already. <laughs> so this is a part of a necklace that my sister brought me back from London when she went. And I've lost the chain, but I did keep this part because I liked it a lot. So that will go in my excuse me, pile of things. I have this, which seems to be a tree, but I don't know where it's from, and it looks kind of tarnished, and it looks like it was coated because the coating is peeling. So this little guy is going to the trash. These two, again, with the cool and weird interesting things, these are gifts from my friend Jen, so I am going to put them with the pendants, so we can do pendant things. I'm going to have a clusterfuck of things over here. Oh! I found the other earring to that one that I threw out that I'm going to throw this one out too. Okay. Let's, let's get a look at these. This was from my working at American Eagle days. And I like the idea of this necklace, but it really, really bothers me. But there's stuff like the chain has holes in it so you can't just go fully around on it. So this, unfortunately, is going into trash. I would offer it to my friend Caitlin, but she, because she, she loves the Eiffel Tower and like the shape of it. Um, but she has a million Eiffel Tower necklaces. I bet you she probably has that one somewhere. Ooh! This is a gift um, that I got to... When I worked at Barnes & Noble, I got it to give around to people so we could wear the necklace when you were feeling upset and you got to feel special because you were wearing the necklace. And I guess I left while I still had it, so it's mine now. And I do like it, despite the fact that it's one of those you can't move it up and down the chain because the chain is split and attached. I'm going to keep it. Ooh. This is a necklace I bought to wear in my other sister's wedding. I have two sisters. I was bridesmaids for both of them. Um, I bought this one and I like it. It's very big, but silver and like simplistic. And I remember getting it off Etsy and being so excited. So I'm gonna keep it because you know, memories and I like it. 
Okay. I don't know. So I think this might have fallen under aspirational. I think this is something I bought in an attempt to replace the anklet. But it's like, it's weird because it's part of a choker, but the back part isn't, and these don't move that much. So I think we're going to give it a this. Octopus, it goes with my ring. I like it. We're keeping it. And, ooh, these guys. So this is another one of my, when I worked at American Eagle and bought all their jewelry. Um, a really long chain with these cool keys on it. I'm going to keep it because I did enjoy wearing this and I am glad that I found it again. So I have to get them on the same side. One of the keys has two sides and one of them just has a fake back. So you have to get it correctly aligned. Okay, we're getting into stuff. These, these are all going. Some more of the bangle things. They're going. Um, oh! This is a charm bracelet I made back in high school. And I'm going to keep it because some of these things still apply. I played trumpet in high school, so there's a trumpet on it. Um, I like sailing. I like horses. And apparently I either wanted to get married and or have jewelry. So I'm going to keep this just because I remember making this. It was really cute. What the fuck? Oh! Okay. This is another charm thing that uh, was another one that my friend gave me as her little trinket store was closing. And I'm not sure I've ever worn it. I think this might be one of those ones that's like just at the weird size for my my wrist. But I think he's going out. Ooh, there's another one. Ah, I remember this one. I'm conflicted about this one because it's cute and I like it, but this thing is cloth. So I've never really worn it. Also, I have not been to England, so it seems a little silly to have like an what looks like a souvenir from England. So I think this is going away because I haven't missed it yet. This is most likely another thing I took from Anna in high school. It's a little bracelet with all these butterfly charms. So I'm going to keep this because I remember really enjoying this. Ooh, this guy. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear it much, but I'm going to keep it. This is a gift that Jen brought me back from when she lived in China, and there's perfume in here, and it's cool. So, I feel like this was one of those ones that, like, hit at a weird spot. Oh no, that's fine. So I just need to wear it more. Into the pile! This, I believe, was also a gift from somebody. It's a little black and white bracelet with my initial, first initial on it. So, I will keep this. I need to wear more bracelets. I have a bunch of them. Ooh, we found some of my two rings. Oh, you are not the best. This is part of a two-part, you know, friend thing. It was two matching rings. I think one said best and one said friends, and they both had the little heart on it. So it's cute, and it fits, but I am not friends with this person anymore. So... And this is my high school class ring, so... I'm keeping this because it's one of the few rings that fits me nicely. So I have to keep that. Getting into the last things. Ooh, oh. This is a time turner that I got, but I broke the chain. Oh no, I didn't break the chain. It came with two parts that don't go together. One of these should be a circle. So this is something I have yet to wear other than like tied together. So we at some point are going to get somebody to fix that so I can wear it because it's cool. Do, do, do. More random things on... Where are you from? I think we're going to keep the chain and get rid of the gem, or not gem, pendant of this fish because I don't remember where it's from which means it doesn't matter to me. This does matter to me. This is a necklace I picked up when I was in Prague and the things I brought back for myself. So, we keep this. 
and I probably should wear it more or put it on like a like a chain chain as opposed to the leather because I had the other one break that's probably why I stopped wearing it because I didn't want it to break this is another pendant type thing that we will put in the pile of pendants if you can't tell I like Asian art I think it's cool also a lot of them probably just say stupid stuff I just I just can't read it another thing to go in the pendant thing it's a little dragon he'll stay still there you go and oh yeah okay so this is a necklace that doesn't really work but I like the idea behind it it is a mood ring dragon so if you touch the part that's on his wings it changes different colors so it's kind of blue now but you can't tell because it's dark but I don't think it sits close enough to my skin to really like change change like a ring but I like it so I'm gonna keep it because it makes me happy mood changing dragon oh, this is a sad thing this is a necklace that I wore to one of the two proms I went to but I don't really wear it otherwise and I've already gotten rid of the necklace that or the earrings that matched it so I think this is gonna have to go because I will not wear it it went really well with my dress and it was really cool I just this isn't my style anymore it was very high school and it's not a high enough quality for me to keep it Ooh, this seems to be just a thing of big pendants so I like clock necklaces particularly pocket watch necklaces I need to fix your time. You haven't been... Oh, I don't know how to fix your time. Oh, no. So we're going to set you aside because I don't know how to fix your time, but I do like you. Um, I have one that is a compass, which I will save and then take somewhere with my boyfriend and be like, I can tell us what direction we're going. I'll take it hiking. I'm going to take this hiking. And, ooh. This is going to be one of those, we get rid of the pendant but keep the chain. It's a little rocker Hello Kitty, which I'm sure I liked at the time. I think I wore it all of like once. So put that over there. This one. Do you actually do anything? Oh, you do magnify like a little bit. This is going to go. I'm not going to use it. I'm not excited about wearing it. This, this one I like. This is my other compass necklace. It's very cute. I like it a lot. Uh, this is the second one because I wore this all the time when I first got it and I wore it out to di dinner once and the waitress was talking about how cute it was and asking where she got it so I left it with the tip and then I bought myself another one because I, I was working at American Eagle. I could get these on sale because this is from American Eagle. So second one. I liked it enough to buy a second one. Oh, you're so long. I don't hate you. I don't know when I'd really use you. I think I'm going to keep the chain for options, but get rid. Ooh, I could put the, I could possibly, depending on how big the thing is, put the axe on this. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the pendants probably and put something else on this chain. So, that should be it. Um, I'm going to dust some stuff, do some organization, and then we will do an overview of what the box looks like now. Alright, so here is the end result. Um, this is about what I'll be looking at. I have the chains here, I have my earrings, all with buddies, little hair things, that comes out, and I've got bracelets, all of the pendants and charms. Most of these are split into one or two necklaces. Um, that turns out that maple leaf doesn't come off of its chain. It doesn't fit. The little loop doesn't fit around either of the ends. And I've got like the other stuff. I've got this, which I didn't do any going through because I'm lazy and I'm tired. Um, those are all of the bigger necklaces. So my, this one, my octopus, my head, um, I put my bobby pins in this, and then these are all kind of the bigger ones, chunkier stuff, anything I need to fix or work on. Like it's got both of the Doctor Who things there, the TARDISes, that's what they're called, the time turner, stuff like that. And then I don't know where I'm going to put these two, because I kept them, but they're big and don't really fit in here. So, 
who knows? Uh, I might have to find a new place for them. But yeah, this is the end result. So now I can... Ah. Put that there, put that there. And then if I need to move it, it actually closes so I can move it places. And yeah, that is the end. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you do declutters of stuff that are not makeup. And if this is just a weird thing that I do sometimes. And yeah, that should be it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.